Hey guys, today I'd love to share with you uh, my top five progressions that have inspired me to write songs and to think about harmony. I hope you like them and incorporate them into your own playing. So here's the first one. It's kind of a classical thing. It sounds like this. Okay, it's a very simple trick. It goes as following. Start with E minor, spread triad. Then move the, the B to C, it becomes a, a C in first inversion. And this is the second inversion of a C diminished with the doubling of the top string, going to a beautiful B minor in first inversion. So, so far we have going to A in first inversion going down to A diminished. So it's basically major in first inversion to minor in first inversion to diminished in first inversion. And it's so striking that these simple three chords, major, minor, and diminished, can sound so beautiful together. Okay, this is so inspiring, so I love that. Number uh, four is a very, very fundamental thing, which is the cycle of uh, major of uh, diatonic seventh chords, which is without any tricks, this. C, F, B half diminished. And then I'll show you what I do with it, A minor. So far, Nothing special, but when you add drop three, you'll get this if it's voice led correctly. So I'll start on C major. And again, it's just drop three, but it's uh, so much prettier. So that's to be found in my drop three lesson. So number three, again, another very cool drop three trick. Let me first play it for you. Uh, that's the cycle five to one in drop three. Goes as follows. Start on G7. And resolve it to a, that's a G7. Resolve it to a C triad. Double the top note with a C again, so it's this. Okay? And you can, of course, do the same with 5 to 1 to minor. This produces basically 5 1, 5 1, 5 1, and the keys drop by a whole step each time. G7 C, uh, F7 B flat, so it's like this. And check out the minor version, also beautiful. Okay, so that's a very, very neat thing. Really, really lovely. Sometimes when I want to mess around, I'll do it by half steps. That's a fun, inspiring thing for me. Really loved it. And the next trick is using spread triads. You'll probably know this part of the progression. I'm sure it's going to remind you of some pretty famous songs. But here's the trick. So this is uh, uh, one minor, in this case G minor, five minor, in this case D minor, and four minor, in this case C minor. And the awesome thing is to take this C minor and then turn it into E minor in root position and repeat the pattern. It's only three chords, it's quite striking. And together it's going to sound like this. Okay, 
so those were uh, one, five, four, uh, descending by uh, a minor third. Four tonal centers. That's a really, really enjoyable trick. Now let me show you something kind of crazy, and it's one of my favorite tricks. And uh, it goes like this. This is kind of a more of a modern lane. First, let me play this strange, seemingly unconnected sequence. Play it again. Right? Something strange is going on. It's so simple. Let me show you what I'm really doing. A while back I had a lesson called Turn Morning Triads into Cool Chords that had 1, 9, and 5. These chords. You can uh, look at that video if you want to understand more about it. And then we do that and we add a, th uh, a third on the bottom to get these. So what I'm doing here is really a very simple thing. I'm just playing nine chords descending by a half step, uh, starting on E flat like this. But the weird thing is I'm using this strange family and I'm descending each time by a half step. So I'm starting on E flat at nine here. And then when I go to D at nine with F sharp on bass, I'm moving up in inversion to here. And then when I'm descending to D flat at nine, I'm moving the inversion to here. And when I'm descending to C at nine, I'm moving the inversion to here. So basically the inversions are going up and the chord progression is going down. That's why you get this uh, eerie feeling. And my final uh, favorite trick for today, let's put it in the first place, though I feel they're all my children and I love them equally. Actually, they're not my children. I'm sure I've picked them up from uh, great musicians. So anyway, I think this is uh, comes up a lot with Pat Metheny, and the trick is as follows. It takes, let me first play it for you, and then I'll deconstruct it for you. Also can be played in reverse, uh, I think. Tell you what's going on. It's a super cool trick. The idea is you play C, C major seven with a G over C. That's just a triad with a bass. And instead of playing F minor seven, which is the real progression here, the real progression is this F minor, which serves also as a two of E flat, and then a four minor. So the essence of the trick is you take uh, a diatonic tonal center like C. You go to a four minor chord, and then you treat it also as a two in a different scale. So F minor is both four in C and two in E flat. That's the heart of the trick. Okay, so that's how the progression is formed. But the trick is to replace that four minor with a sus dominant chord. So instead of F minor, after the C, we play B flat sus. And it pretty much serves the same purpose and resolves beautifully the E flat. So what the tries are doing is this. I'll play it slowly. It's, they're basically going by a half step and then a whole step. Now whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step okay and what the bass is doing descending either by a whole step or a half step so if I'm on C the bass will descend by a whole step and then when the triad goes up a whole step the bass simply goes up a fourth so the bases are C B flat E flat D flat G sharp uh, A F Sorry, F sharp. Excuse me, guys. E, A, and G. And we're back. So it produces a cycle. Okay, it's a really neat thing. Let, let me play it quickly. Okay, 
super inspiring stuff with four keys. So I sincerely hope you enjoyed some of my favorite chords. There are so many more of them, but uh, I suggest you learn all of them. If you need help, there's videos on all of these topics uh, somewhere in the channel if you want to get stronger with, uh, for example, drop three or spread uh, triads. Uh, they're all in here somewhere. So please, please enjoy, write songs. And if you want to make me insanely happy, write a song and post a link to it if it uh, was something that was inspired by this. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.